Um, not about um, a year and a half ago, my father uh, was awarded a Legion d'honneur because he was a naval officer at D-Day. And my mother was reading, reading the paper and she said, oh, have you seen this, darling? Uh, you can get a medal. Uh, and she, said, she wrote a letter in saying my husband was at, was at D-Day at some and so um, I, my father's never kissed me, but he has kissed the French ambassador oh. uh, uh, because uh, he obviously he's, he was one of the seven of them. Only three of them, I think, were able to stand up to attention. But he stood to attention. Oh. He's 95, oh. and the French oh. ambassador put the medal on his chest oh. and kissed him on both cheeks. Oh. My father stood there proudly as he was kissed on both cheeks by a Frenchman. Uh, and he, was, uh, and, but he didn't kiss him. And, uh, uh, and he said it only took them 75 years to thank us, but at least. At least did something and, and it's like, so I went to this uh, this ceremony and um, and in fact you know strangely uh, well by uh, accident um, the uh, I got talking to a chap called Lord Howe and uh, Lord Howe is a um, Tory defence minister in the Lords and uh, he's actually the chap that went over to sign on behalf of the British government. Uh, these agreement, PESCO agreements, um, wherever it was, and uh, I'll show you the picture here because I've got it here. So if you go to, mm. yeah, sorry, the but picture. Got a call. The picture is. Uh, let, let me just take take you. Give, give you the, yeah, yeah, that's it. The picture is brain.com slash ukip slash stuff slash pescno dot jpg. Uh, anyway, the picture. The picture is that and. Um, so I didn't have much to protest with because the Lord Howe was there, but I've got a purple, I often have a purple um, sharpie on me, obviously purple, and I found a piece of paper and I quickly, um, I quickly drew out, this, drew out this, uh, this picture and there is um, there's Lord Howe and my father with his new medal oh, and me wow. with Pescno I did. Um, I did talk to Lord Howe, um, and I, you know, I sort of, you know, I thought this is an interesting opportunity. So I got chatting to him, um, and he seemed very pleased with how everything was going all this much. And I said, "Well, can you explain to me um, if we do sign up? You know, I'm very worried about Pesco and all that. Can you explain to me if, let's say, you were a, uh, you know, a, 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 a corporal or something, uh, or perhaps a, you know, something else, um, and a uh, captain, and you got your orders from." On the one hand, your NATO chain of command, and then you've got another order from Brussels chain of command. Yeah, yeah Pesco Brussels. chain of command. And uh, which orders are you supposed to follow? Mm. Um, and at this point, he got very, very jumpy actually, mm. and he sort of he slid off into the into the uh, into the crowd uh, and didn't and was. was I thought he was nervous well. about that question. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, yeah and, you know, essentially, yes, I think that really Theresa May's government have. Uh, actually, probably treasonously, mm. um, uh, gone ahead with this uh, uh, European uh, defence unification or a defence union, it's called. Um, it, it, you know, behind our backs and kept quiet about it. Yeah. I just got on with it, uh, even though they know we voted yeah, right. essentially against it. Mm. And there are some people in the military who are hopping mad about it, but uh, many of them don't want to don't want to get involved. But there's this issue.